Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, I initiate my episode with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, He who has you, in a reference to Allah the Almighty, has everything. And he who has deprived himself of you is the poorest in the world. A loser is the one who chooses and is content with anyone or anything other than you. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you and welcome to Is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, mentioning some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, we are still in the topic of sedition or fitna in Kufa. Dear viewers, once it became none, however, that the person outside the palace was none other than Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, Al Nu'man bin Bashir ordered the gates opened and he was admitted, namely Ubaidullah bin Ziyad. The next morning, an assembly was called. At that time, our respected viewers, Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, announced his appointment by Yazid as the government and threatened the people lest they dare disobey him or dissent from him. After his speech, our respected viewers, he, namely Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, ordered that the leaders from among the people to be rounded up and issued a new threat. They could either turn over lists containing the names of the people who supported Al Hussein bin Ali as well as anyone who was a troublemaker by which he meant those who supported Al Hussein bin Ali as well. Whoever makes these lists for us will be free of harm, he said, namely Ubaidullah bin Ziyad. By those who do not write down the name of anyone, we'll have to guarantee that there is none from among his group who will oppose us, nor any wrongdoer who will attempt to wrong us. Anyone who fails to do this will be denied protection and his blood and poverty will be considered lawful. Any of you leaders in whose group is found a supporter of Ali will be crucified at the door of his house. Our respected viewers, truly we still see the effects of this mentality until today deeply alive with the behavior of the satanic state known as ISIS displayed before the entire world and it's easy to see whose sunnah they are following rather than that of the mercy to the worlds the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they and similar groups adhere to the sunnah of the filthiest most corrupt tyrants in the history of Islam like Yazid bin Muawiyah and Ubaidullah bin Ziyad Allah's curses be upon them both and upon their followers indeed our respected viewers his words to the leaders of the people of Kufa on that day were no different than the words of these modern day Karajites today. Sadly, the Ummah of the Messenger of Allah has never learned well from its history, or perhaps we may say that in other words, they have learned far too much, yet they would never work accordingly. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadar, to interpret the message of the grandfather al Hussein bin Ali, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.